I started researching pressure garments which are used to treat hypertrophic scars and hypertrophic scars develop after a serious burn injury. So if you've had a, a very deep burn and either it's recovered by itself or it's been grafted, um, after the wound has healed you'll need to put a pressure garment on it to normalise the scar. So I started out by doing a survey of uh, National Health Service burn units um, and from that realised that they were using lots of different fabrics and that the method that they used at the time meant that different pressures were likely to be exerted on different people's bodies um, and different parts of the same person's body. My name is Leanne Saw and I'm a sports physiotherapist here at DM Orthotics. One of the big things that's important to the company is research and development. So I started doing a literature review and that's when I sort of came across a lot of the work that Lisa McIntyre had done particularly addressing like the problems with pressure garments and so we wanted to look at those to see what we could do to address those problems. What I've done is to um, establish the relationship between the tension in the fabric and the pressure that that exerts on the body and um, proven that the Laplace law um, governs the, the relationship between the pressure and the tension and the circumference of the body. So if you make a garment in the same way for different sizes of body then you'll get different pressures exerted. There's, there's no agreement on really the ideal pressure to use, even how long they're used. So anything that can um, be used to try and improve the quality of the research of pressure garments is really important to clinical practice and the outcomes that patients can inspect. The problem is that if you exert too little pressure, you won't get the normalisation of the scar that you're looking for, so it won't be effective enough. Um, and if you apply too much pressure, then that can cause the scar to macerate, which means that it breaks down, you need to stop the treatment and maybe even need extra skin grafts, um, and that's very painful. So you want to get this balance between having a pressure that's high enough to be effective, but not so high that it's going to cause damage to the skin. So I wanted to create something that would make it easier for them to tell the pressure in their garments. So our study is aiming to be able to make the pressure treatment more efficient. What Rona did in the project was to take the theories that I developed during my work and to make them easy to apply in a hospital setting. So I've created an Excel spreadsheet which you input the patient data, um, works its magic and then is able to tell you the pressure exerted at specific measuring points. It's to build up the information about pressure and then um, we hopefully will then be able to identify what works best for what kind of scarring. I think because um, the company places such a big emphasis on research and development, we want to be at the forefront, and so innovation is the way that we do that. When you sort of work with a university, you also get the objectivity that they bring, and basically it's them who helps us sort of lead the way. It was really exciting to find out that DM Orthotics were using my work because you publish things and it goes out into this black hole and you see it in print, but you never know whether anybody's reading it or using it, and so it's lovely to know that companies are using it. Harriet Watt University Research has played a big role in um, helping us to determine what is the optimal pressure that pressure garments need to be putting on. The solution that I've come up with can be used all over the world.